everyone, this is Lomi, and in this video, I'm showing how to make a simple necktie for dolls. Real ties come in a wide variety of colors, so I've always found the options available for dolls to be lacking. This tutorial works best for larger dolls, but if you don't mind the knot being out of scale, it can be used for any size. To begin, make sure your doll is dressed, since you'll need the measurement to include the shirt. We'll measure the length and use it to draw our pattern. Most ties are made to fall around the belt buckle on men. Arios isn't wearing his dress pants right now, so I'll be aiming for a tie that falls around the bottom button of his shirt. Loop your measuring tape around the doll's neck over the shirt. The measurement we want is up from the waist, around the neck, and back down to wherever you want the bottom of the tie to be. On my doll, it's about 18 inches to the top of his pants, but you want to add at least an extra inch to accommodate the knot. If I wanted this tie to reach these pants, I'd need to make it 20 inches. Since I want the tie a little shorter, 18 inches should be perfect. To make the pattern, I've prepared a piece of paper that's 18 inches long and 2 and a half inches wide. This will make the wide end of the tie an inch wide when it's finished. That's one third scale for the style of tie I like. Fold the paper in half and mark the width of the narrow end. I mark it at 3 quarters of an inch, which will make the narrow end half an inch wide when done. Then use a ruler to draw a straight line from the narrow end to the wide end and cut away the extra paper. Then use a ruler to mark both ends of the paper to a point, and again, cut away the extra. Now we have our pattern. Cut one piece of a lining material and one piece for the front. Normally you'd want them to be similar in case the lining shows, but I'm using a black lining and a red front to make it easier to see how the tie is constructed. Put your tie together with the right sides of the fabric facing each other. Pin it if you need to, then sew the pointed end together. Flip it around and do the same with the other pointed end, leaving the sides open. Cut the extra fabric from the tip of the point, but not too close to the stitching. Then flip your points right side out. A chopstick is great for getting the end of the point turned. You can iron them now, or just finger press the seams if you're confident in your work. Now fold the tie in half with the front of the tie to the inside. Pin it and sew down the length of the tie. Remember that you should never sew over the top of pins. Always stop and pull them out, or you could break your needle, ruin your project, or even ruin your machine. Trim your threads and get ready to turn the tie right side out. I use a safety pin attached to a shoelace and push the pin up the tube we've created until it comes out the other side. Then I put the pin through the end of the tie and pull to turn it right side out. This can be tricky, so take your time. Once the tie is turned right side out, take it to the ironing board and iron it out flat. Go slow to make sure it lays straight. Remember, there's no hurry. The end result should look something like this. Now let's try it on. Just as I planned, the tie ends up being to the bottom button of his shirt, which should be just about the right length to wear with the suit. As a final finishing option, you can take a small piece of ribbon and hand stitch it to the back of the wide end of the tie. Real ties have this to act as a retainer for the short end and keep them together. That's it for today. If you're looking for more sewing tutorials and free patterns for dolls, remember to subscribe so you won't miss any projects. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.